Richard, I suppose being from South Wales, Derby is a second nature to you. What's your thoughts going into this one? Yeah, it's going to be like every other Derby. It's going to be uh, tough, physical. Both sides are going to scrap for everything. And uh, it's going to be a real arm wrestle going into the game. Sort of game you enjoy? <laughs> yeah, normally they normally form forwards dominated and uh, uh, it's a real good battle up front. So, yeah, it's the games I really enjoy. And what is it that makes the difference in those fine margins and enables you and the team to come out in on top in those sort of games? It's just doing all your role right, uh, your personal role. Uh, think about the team first, not the individual, and uh, really put the put everyone else on the front foot. I suppose, though, you've got to win those individual battles, haven't you? Exactly right, yeah. I think it's one to eight. Normally, uh, the forwards set the tone in these derby games, and hopefully we can do that the weekend. Obviously, Saracens, the result in the last few minutes of disappointment, but how much can you take from that performance, the first hour especially? Yeah, we can take lots from it. Uh, but it's been like a, our season so far all year, and we've been so close. Uh, but I definitely think we're going in the right direction. Uh, we played some fantastic rugby in that game. Uh, I'm fortunate not to get the result in the end, but no, there's lots of positives coming out of it. Uh, I think uh, we're definitely on the right track. And do you feel that you're on the right track, especially at home now, because the you know, last couple of results at home have gone your way and suddenly you know, the crowd seems to be right there back behind you again? Yeah, the crowd's always there, in fairness to them. Uh, when lose a draw, as long as we show a massive effort, they're there. they understand the game. Uh, but no, yeah, I think home results are massive in this league and it's going to be a derby game, but first and foremost, we are at home and we want the winning Kings on. Obviously, you've signed a new contract recently. How much did that just sort of... It was almost a relief to get your future sorted and sort of now it's just carry on, you know, plowing the furrow at Gloucester. Yeah, like I said, it, uh, I'm excited by the brand of rugby we've been playing this year. It's uh, it's faster, it's more physical in defence. Uh, I just find it it's a real good brand and I enjoy playing it. And it was a no-brainer in the end. And people talk about you getting back to something like your British Lions best. Do you, do you feel like you're in that sort of form? Uh, I feel I'm playing all right. Yeah, I feel I'm playing okay. Uh, it's always more. It's always uh, improvements. Uh, I'll have to keep striving for them. And not too old to still have those ambitions? <laughs> Never too old. Uh, finally, it's the end of November. Are you looking forward to shaving the upper lip? I can't wait to get this slug off my face. I really can't wait. <laughs> you ran Movember last year. Um, Jacob Rowan's taken over this year. Yeah. Um, how much have you, have you been able to sort of contribute again? Uh, I haven't actually, uh, unfortunately. I've helped Jake out as much as I can with a couple of retweets and stuff, but uh, he's really drove it this year. I uh, don't think he's done a good job as I did, but uh, no, he's, in fairness, he's put a massive effort in and it's, uh, it's great work by him. And looking at some of the things that have been donated up for auction, it looks like all the, all the lads have backed it once again. Exactly, the boys are fantastic. Yeah. It, it, it doesn't seem much to the boys, but stuff like uh, Ross has put in the weekend, it's it's huge for fans to get memorabilia really and uh, get a chance to do an auction is super.